So, you want to do the path of Scarabus and you don't know what you're doing. So, right, get a blowpipe, get your range top, get your accumulator, get your Keras Partisan. Don't listen to the turbos, just just get your Miller gear and your Keras Partisan. So you've got two paths on the puzzle. You're going to go, it doesn't really matter which, which way you do them, but I find that this one's the harder one, so you're going to go there first. This room, there's a plaque and it's going to give you a number, and then right at the top left, there is a. Uh, one to nine, so it's one, two, three across the top, and then you've got to add them up to 30 moving across the board. Um, it's different numbers all the time. I got 30, I've done that one before, and the numbers are in the same place, so I'm assuming they're in the same place every time. Got a little crawl hole, uh, we're gonna go through that, and then we're on the other side. This is lights out, uh, everyone you step on, the one you're standing on, and the adjacent uh, ones light up or turn off uh, it's it's only a three by three grid so it's not too bad but um, you can brute force it or or work your way through it uh, this room is it's a pattern so there's already one lit up you're gonna hit just hit them all you can brute force your way through this one quite quickly um, as long as you remember the pattern each time so uh, you can see that I'm going from one to the next I, I don't know any other way of trying to work this out. That's 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 about as good as you can get. And then this is just a five memory thing, so it's going to light up five things. They're always different as well, so don't don't think that you're just going to get. Uh, you can path diagonally through the middle like that as well. And I nearly forgot what I was doing here. There you go. Right, so this last one is just like a match. So you've got one on either side. It's, it's just a running game, basically. Wario moustache, diamond. There you go. So that's that's as simple as that. So going into the boss fight next, this is this is the last of the of the first bit. If you're doing this with more than one person, that statue is, is back so you can't get through, so one person needs to be on either side. And to be fair, that's a lot easier because I'm out of run energy now. Um, yeah, so after this, we're going to be going into the boss fight. Uh, I am just going to super combat, range pot. And I'll get ready with my Dragon War Hammer. Uh, two specs, dump on him. Then I'll be straight back into the Keras Partisan. That's... That's going to be your main weapon. Well, for me, it's the main weapon for this. I mean, it's a free weapon, do you know what I mean? I ain't paying, what, stupid money for a rapier. We don't need that. So, we're going to combat pot now. Then range pot. I should have brewed and restored first just to get over hill. Just to, you know, like, safen up. But, you know. So, Warhammer specs. Party on. I forgot party because I'm an idiot. But, you know, it's still here. There you go. Right, so I've got an invocation on the bombs that he's dropping, rather than being a one one square hit, it's a, a free, so it's a free by free. Um, realistically, it's, they're, they're like Vorkad bombs, um, but they don't hit that hard. They hit like 30, 40, I think. Um, that pile of poo that he's just thrown out, that makes like a, a barrier, and if you get caught by it a couple of times, it'll, it'll shut off your area. So you'll have less less space to deal. Um, best to hug those like like what I'm doing here. In case he does another one, it gives you a lot more time before you get cut off. Especially because on the second sort of down phase that with a mage. So this is the range. First first down. You've got the ranger. Pray range against it if you if you're taking damage. Uh, the swarms are coming in. They are giving a, the boss like a shield, uh, you know, like Zarpus when he gets his. Um, well, you got to stand on the bodies, or the. whatever they are. Uh, yeah, so they'll just keep coming in for a bit. The little bugs, you just pre range against those, that seems to work. Um, you can blow pipe them, but I don't seem to notice that it's worth it, really. So back to the Keris, second sort of. Uh, Phase. I'm gonna hug the poo wall. I'm just gonna just keep back and forth. Pretty, 
pretty straightforward this bit, it's not too bad. <clears throat> I've got that, that ranger hit a little range thing hitting me from the side. I could take that out, but I'm just gonna tank it though. I mean seems to be doing alright. So yeah, back and forth, back and forth. Keep hitting him. Stand against the poo wall. I don't really think there's much more to it than that. Um yeah, I'll just let it play until the next phase. So the egg, if there's a, if there's an egg close to you, when it's when it explodes, it will do all damage. Um, and I've got the invocation on that makes more damage. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, if there's one right next to you, knock it out. But otherwise, I'm really too fussed with them. Got another pro wall. I quit. I clicked quickly because I wanted to make sure I wasn't trapped on the inside of that. I don't know if it can, if it automatically chooses which side you're going, uh, or if you can like spam click out of it. I think you can spam spam click out of it because it's not too quick. So the major is the one in the corner. He's gonna have these red circles come up around him. That will make a full square around him. Uh, I think that makes him do like a big magic attack. But yeah, so take him out as quick as you can, really. Uh, and the other, the gold one is melee. And you've got these other little things that fly in. They all mark the floor as well, same as the bombs. See that one that's just landed on me. Um, I think that's because of the same invocation. They, uh, they're free by free as well. All, all of his sort of bomb attacks are now like AoE. Uh, so yeah, the melee guy, I'm gonna take him out. Event. I'm not sure why I took so long to actually take him out though. Um, but yeah, I just kind of let him keep walking around. Um, and then again, back to the back to the wall. I run out of run here, so I took a couple of bad hits that I shouldn't have taken. But yeah, back back to the same thing. You can see how the room's been sort of cut up now as well. Um, and that's why we try and stay to the, the wall that's already there. Um, because now, look, by staying next to each other, they're together, but yeah. Um, same again, though, carrying on. Just gonna keep one in, one out, or two in, two out, however it's. Uh, whichever invocation you've got on. I'll just let this play until the end of this phase. That was the last hit of the third shield phase. So this is the last phase, it's just just finishing him off now. Not too bad of a boss this one. Um, as a solo player in this, it's more difficult because if you mess up the walls and you get sort of locked out to some of the, like especially the mage, um, with more than one person you can get sort of stuck on either side of it so it's, it, you've got more leeway with that um yeah it's not not really too bad not really too bad keris works i don't have a problem using the keris there's no no need to buy rapier for that but yeah that's it